Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to DC Universe Online. We're back here in the test server, and we're going to be taking a look at the telekinesis tree for the mental people. Woo, we're crazy. Just throwing it out there. Uh, I haven't used all my PowerPoints because I actually haven't been... I, I literally spent all my PowerPoints just to get into this tree, and we'll take a look at the new stuff in the iconic powers when I touch upon gadgets uh, at a later time. So let's take a look and see what we have for telekinesis. Ooh, scary. Not really. All right. Well, first off, we have our first ability, telekinesis. Same old thing, still gets out the power. Now it actually has a power interaction where it now dazes enemies. This should help out, especially with other abilities like, say, pyrokinesis, Days levitated, knock back, knock down, juggle, rooted, or stunned enemies take additional damage. So it's they're making tele, uh, the mental powers, as you see, more viable in a DPS stand, uh, DPS stance where the telekinesis tree now dazes the uh, the illusion terror uh, puts enemies in a terrified state, and now you have power interactions where they'll do more damage if certain enemies ha are these abilities. It's how they're wanting to balance it out, and I think it's going to help out DPS a lot. Sadly, I'm not, I've never played these characters in a DPS stance, so get feedback on how to do controller role. Maybe someday I'll join over to the dark side and try DPS. I'm not sure yet. But anyways, tele, uh, telekinesis, basic power outage, uh, the power over time that we have, and it now dazes enemies. That's the only difference. Next over here is psychic resonance. It... See, the new things that it does is it deals extra damage to day's enemies, of course. They remove the damage to break from stun and reduced power cost. That's pretty cool. Uh, let me check out the old version of Psychic Resonance. It Power interaction still stays the same where it helpless enemies take this... Uh, yeah, if you take additional damage, well, that's pretty much the same thing. If you're dazed or levitated, knocked back, you'll take additional damage. Same thing, just different wording. And then, of course, enemies in ice, nature, mental, light, earth, or gadgets and casements will explode and damage other enemies. Yay! After that, we have telekine telekinetic push that uh, pushes a cone of mental energy that damages and knocks down enemies. The differences on this is it deals extra damage to dazed tar enemies. So this is a little bit more of the power interactions showing that, hey, use this as DPS, because if you use telekinesis, then telekinetic push, it's a good combo. Even though telekinetic push really only does one, one, but we'll go into that a little later. Second empowerment, next over here, uh, psychic empowerment didn't really get a change because there's nothing to change from it. It restores power to the three most fatigued group members and increases might and precision for a short time. Basic. Something that we always need, but basic. Over here is our one of our uh, the DPS supercharge bolt barrage. Bolt barrage got an increase in average base damage, and the damage is not split between objects and characters. It can hit eight of each type of entity. Again, this probably means that it's not going to hit eight enemies and then eight crates or something. It's going to hit probably a majority of one or the other. So, But damage is not split, meaning that you'll get the same amount of damage to everything to everybody. Next over here is the Telekinetic Bolt. It is... Telekinetic Bolt get a reduced power cost. That's really it? It was a reduced power cost. Are you kidding me? No, that's pretty much it. It's always been vulnerable to interrupt. Yeah, that's... And it... Power interaction for dazed. And it still does damage for enemies and ice and all that stuff. Hmm. Now, does it still do the... Yep, still does 60% damage. So, the only difference that they did for it was that it reduced the power cost, which should help tremendously for everybody our other supercharge is bastion now the issue before game update 17 
The issue is the controllers, gadgets, nor mental has supercharge that would give out power over time. When they brought out Game Update 16, they changed up the iconic powers. Now, World of Power gives out power over time, and it heals you. Only you, not everybody else, just you. We're stingy like that. So, World of Power became a very awesome 50% supercharge. So, you can use it twice. Very awesome supercharge for power over time. Bastion, it got that update. It got that update pretty nicely. So, with Bastion, you protect yourself and seven other teammates from damage and causes enemy attacks to grant you power and deal damage back to the attackers with ethereal t- uh, telekinetic bubbles. That's pretty cool. It uses 100% supercharge, so use it wisely. So, I mean, the changes for the sucker is restores power when you are hit by enemies. It may, da- it, uh, they have it here, it may damage enemy may damage enemies back when hit, now affects all group members, and increase supercharge to 100%. Where beforehand, I think it really just says protect all enemies from damage with... It was just a big raid shield. That's all it was. Now it's useful. Now it gives us power back, which was what we wanted. So thank you for listening. Next over here is Pyrokinesis. It... Added the tooltip that now includes stun. Still does the burning over time. And now it does the dazed. Yep. And it still uh, reduces the target's ability to heal. So the only difference is right here. It dazed, levitated, knocked back, and all that stuff take additional damage. Only difference. Next over here is Thought Bubble. Thought Bubble... Increases the enemy within a force field, causing damage over time. It crushes enemies, making them vulnerable, and it reduces enemy defenses. For Thought Bubble, it damages the, uh, damages the enemy even if enemy is immune to being encased. So, once you do this the first time, they're encased, they take damage over time, whatever. They pop out of it, you use it again, you use it again, and... They'll still get the damage over time. They just might not be encased. So hold that thought, all right? Just remember that. It's not a waste of a move. Not really. So it's a good CC ability. But unless they're immune, then at that point, you're just using it for damage purposes. Uh, Next is Cryokinesis. Cryokinesis changes our reduced power cost to 370 from 475. Like, we can really see the stupid numbers. And then deals extra damage to dazed enemies and may knock them down. It says it right there in the power interactions. Right here. So it still inflicts frostbite, main case frostbitten enemies, and still does the controller thing. Over here is mass levitation. Mass levitation, it now hits 8 targets instead of 4. It now dazes enemies. And the tooltip now includes that this is vulnerable to interrupt. So, have at thee. We'll take a look at the animations as soon as we're almost done here. And then, last but not least, Telekinetic Shield. The only change is... Uh, there's two of them. Uh, increase the amount of damage absorption that restoration affects to 100%, matching the amount from Dominance. So, you know, Dominance mixed in with Restoration means that you can take in more, more hits. And you won't get hurt. That's... That's kind of that's balancing out pretty well. Uh, decrease to uh, decrease the cooldown to twenty two seconds. So that's telekinetic shield. This is the telekinesis tree. Nice and shiny. And if you don't want to use Bastion, or if you don't want to use Word of Power, now we have Bastion, which using Word of Power or Bastion is now going to have to be a situational awareness. Because Word of Power does heal you, and it does give power back. Now we have ba- Now you can use Word of Power twice, and you can only use Bastion once. But Bastion also gives you a shield. So, but now we're going to take a look at the animations. So wait for the sucker. Uh, we're just gonna, I'm just going to let it slide. Let's go ahead and slide. All right, so let's take a look at some animation styles. Hmm? New animations, it's always fun. It's always a fun, fun time. Okay, I'm just passing time now. All right. 
So we're first going to look at telekinesis. All right, are you ready for this? Because it's pretty. Look how pretty that is. He's just all up in the air, just all like purple electrified. All right, he's in. Oh, there he comes. You okay, Solomon? All right, well, I'm going to do it again. Just to. I just really like that. And remember, telekinesis is our power out, so I'm actually getting 126 power back. That's just how, because of the gear and how I'm specced. But okay. Uh, next up is telekinetic push I believe it's one to make sure one to make sure yes telekinetic push and that's all it was I find the animation neat but it's kind of lacking do you, do you mind coming back Solomon Mike uh, are you still stunned Get, there okay there knocks him back even more so that's a nice little maneuver to if you have too many mobs on you, just or even a boss, just use telekinetic push. All right, next is telekinetic bolt. That I'm gonna try and slap Solomon awake. All right, come on, come on back over. Good boy. All right, telekinetic bolt. Oh, it's a cast. Well, that shows I never really used that ability. It's like I just did a kamehameha. Oh, come here, man. Ah! Yeah, that's cool. I like that a lot. <laughs> oh, the little things amuse me. Yeah, so, and remember, the only change for Telekinetic Bolt was the fact that the power cost was reduced. Oh, dear lord, I don't have any power. Solomon, you might help me out with that. Solomon, wake up. Give me some power here, buddy. That, that, that took a lot. Took a lot out of me. All right. Next is pyrokinesis. Yep, pyrokinesis. Did I even like use any power whatsoever? Too. That's why I like. You see that sucker is just ticking away, ticking away. Wow, he's stunned pretty long. All right, there he is. All right, so we're gonna take a look at it. One, we're gonna take a look at pyrokinesis again. Has the two purple rays but you have the fire thing in the middle of it and it works out pretty well so the, that animation style gets it really cool and this also puts the burning effect on there so he can for all you fire tanks out there who haven't who, if they're not burning leave it to us mentals we'll, we'll take care of it because he also takes this is the healing debuff so remember that all right next up i believe it's Cryokinesis, but of course, I'm wanting to double check. Just want to double check. Yes, cryokinesis. And thought bubble. Okay. Cryokinesis has the blue thing in there now and reduces damage output and freezes them right there. And I think if we do it again, yep, frostbitten. Nicely encased. And I think I'm just going to do. He. Well, if I can pick him up, I'm gonna pick him up. Ah! He released before I can pick him up. Oh well. And then for this set, we have Thought Bubble. As you see, he's in a nice bubble. You can pick him up. You can carry him all over the place. Take him home with you. And I'm just gonna throw him. <laughs> Wee! Oh, he's just all the way over there. Oh, Solomon Grundy's gone, folks. <laughs> Is he going to come back? Did I just break Solomon Grundy? Oh, there he is. He's coming back. Come on, buddy. Come on, that's right. Rubber band yourself all the way back. All right, while he's doing that, we're going to switch our powers a little bit. And I still have invisibility because I actually want to show you guys that, too. Let me switch invisibility in here. Really fast. Invisibility. Oh, I'm still in stupid combat. I'm sorry, Solomon. I, I really am. Can you get me? Thank you for getting me out of combat. Okay. Not invisibility. Uh, with invisibility, because it has its own separate bars, you can change the first three, but you want to keep the return to normal. 
you want to keep ambush and you want to keep ambush uh sleep damage doesn't put your target to sleep you do jump out of uh invisibility and then pain blast inflicts psychic damage and knocks down an enemy nearby enemy so let's change that so we could take so you guys can take a look at that all right so we are invisible waka waka and asleep wow out like a light and i think invisibility is like on like a 10 10 or 12 second cooldown i feel like it wow he's just like all sorts of oh right, he's back that was a quick nap wasn't it solomon good solomon all right wake up wake up wake up and back to invisibility and then pain blast it has the same animation for as a telekinetic push so there's not a big difference in the art for that all right so if I remember correctly we need to take a look at mass levitation Very just thought bubble, and we need to do telekinetic shield, and then, of course, D2 supercharges. Because I'm gonna, I leave the supercharges to the last. All right, so let's first take a look at mass levitation. Mass levitation. So this does hit eight targets. Does hit eight targets. I'm really happy about that. And it does daze them as well. So, there you go. That was Mass Levitation, Telekinetic Shield. Ooh, I don't know if you heard that thundering. And Telekinetic Shield, I'm shielded, but no one's going to touch me. So, yay. Apparently, the cooldown on this is 22 seconds. It doesn't feel like 22 seconds, really. I wonder if it's actually going to show up in the buff. In the buff menu. Not like naked buff, but I'm still going to try it. Let's look down here. Current buffs. Current buffs. Absorb. Damage. Okay, that's great. Alright, so... Because we're on... I'm in my control roll. Either way, I'm going to have to go off camera and refill the supercharge, so... Let's just make it easy and just use, we're going to use Bolt Barrage first, all right? Bolt Barrage, remember, increase the average base damage, and it's supposed to hit multiple targets. If they're nearby, I don't think it's going to hit Two-Face over there, but Bolt Barrage. Wow. That's pretty neat. Does the same thing as it did before. Uh... Yeah, it changed the the art style for it changed a little bit. I can I can see that. But now I'm going to go off camera a little bit and recharge my supercharge so we can take a look at Bastion. I'll be right back. All right, and now we're ready to try Bastion. Are you ready for this cuz I sure am. I have never used Bastion at all because I didn't really see the need for a gigantic supercharged shield. But now this shield restores power. So I'm actually going to waste a lot of power. I don't know why I'm using mass levitation. Oh, wow, he actually got raised higher. That's pretty cool. There. I've wasted so much power. Let's try Bastion. Holy. I don't know if that was from Solomon, but my power is back to full. So there. That's Bastion. It's the same shield as you get from Telekinetic Shield. It looks the same, so I'm not griping at all. I mean, it's an awesome looking shield. So that's all you got for it. The changes in the mental trees, I have. Uh, I will say that they are very positive changes. I do not play DPS, but I can see that all of these changes are mainly for all of you DPS players and I hope you all enjoy them and uh, as a controller 
their usefulness is still the same. They're, they have better power interactions that will help controllers out as well. Maybe. I don't think they really do because my power, my POTs and my debuffs stay the same. I just now have a prettier animation to go along with it. And I'm okay with that. But thank you all for watching. This has been the Mental Tree Telekinesis. And I'm going to start working on the gadgets trees now. So, and also, if you haven't seen the illusion tree that I did, check the annotations around and uh, you can click that or actually click the description below and you'll get taken to the illusion tree to take, that, take a look at that. So, thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys next time.